The young cuckoo needs to throw the other eggs out of the nest. If it doesn't do this, then the parents will not be able to feed all the nestlings. It tries again. It must push the egg above the edge of the nest. It is a big effort. The determination of the weak cuckoo nestling to get rid of the competition is amazing to see. After a few hours, it has another go. This time, there's some success. The first egg landed in the water. When it throws out the second egg, the cuckoo almost follows it out of the nest itself. Now, for the last one. Alone at last. The ever open bright red beak and the constant peeping from the cuckoo prompts the reed warblers to bring it food without a break. Now all the insects and spiders end up in its beak. With such intensive feeding, the young cuckoo reaches its adult size in just two weeks. It is so large that when it sits on the nest, it must hold tight so it doesn't fall off. At the end of August, the young cuckoo will start its lonely journey to Africa. It will return next spring, maybe even to the same reed bed, and try to toss an egg into a reed warbler's nest.